Welcome to your tech tutorial on Google Classroom. Many of you are familiar with the features of Google Classroom and for some it's brand new. Google Classroom is an exciting tool many of your teachers will use to assign and organize class documents and activities. New to Google Classroom this year is the discussion feature. Your teacher may assign you a question allowing you and your classmates not only to respond to the question but to each other. The nature of online discussion is to encourage dynamic participation both in and out of the classroom. If your teacher posts a discussion question, you will find it on your Google Classroom stream page. Read the question and then click in the area titled Type Your Answer. This is where you will put your response. Please note, Google Classroom also has another new feature and that's Class Comments. This area may be on some assignments that your teacher posts. I would encourage you not to post questions here for the class or your teacher. Take that into email. And please note that this is not the area where you put your response to the discussion question. Instead, go up to the area, type your answer, and then just simply type your response. I encourage you to compose it in Google Docs, and then you can just copy and paste it in, like I'm going to do at least my abbreviated response. Once you've posted your response, click Submit. At that point you will see See Classmate Answers. This will only appear after you've posted your initial response. Click on that link and you will go to the page in which you can see all of your classmates who have responded so far to the discussion question. This is a great opportunity to read and reflect on your classmates' responses. When you reply to one of your classmates, simply hit reply. And I suggest that you start each response by addressing the student. As discussions grow, it'll help make it clear who you actually are responding to. And then you would type in your reply. Be sure to follow your teacher's lead on how to engage in an online discussion. In your replies, try to avoid short responses such as, hey, yeah, I agree, or that's cool. It really doesn't take the discussion anywhere. As always, show respect when engaging online and know the power and potential of each tool that you use. Thanks for watching this tech tutorial. Email or see Mrs. Ashley with any questions.